Why doesn't God listen to me? Why does it seem that God doesn't answer our prayers sometimes? That's a really difficult question, and I think in our lives we've all had prayers that we felt like God didn't answer. And I remember talking to a buddy of mine. He didn't believe in God. He didn't believe in anything about the church. And I really asked him, why, why don't you believe in God, and got to the core of his really question. And he just answered saying that I prayed to God when I was a kid, and I didn't get the answer I wanted. And that was his reason for atheism. That was his reason for not believing in God. And in a culture where everything is instant gratification, we expect that to work the same with God. And the reality is it's, it's different. God's a father, and, and he knows what's best for us. And sometimes that means no. I know as a kid I had a fork once and thought it'd be really cool to put it into an electrical socket, and that's not a good idea, and I wish someone would have said no. And you see parents and their children, you see a kid pick up something out of the ground and start to put it in their mouth, and their parent slaps it away, not to hurt the kid, but they know what's best for them. And that's the same with the Father and us, that He knows what's best for us. And in Romans 8, 28, it says that God makes all things work together for good for those who love Him. And that's the thing is that God loves us so much, He knows what's best for us. And I'm actually happy that God said no to some of my prayers because I saw what He was trying to do amongst that struggle, amongst that suffering. He was trying to bring something even better out of it. So just know that when your prayers have seemingly been unanswered or maybe silent, know that God hears you every single time and He's bringing out something better for you in this life. And that's the thing, God is in eternity. He sees everything that your life is going to be in the past, now, and in the future. And the thing is, He's making it good. And in Proverbs, it says this, chapter 3, verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. So I invite you today to just trust in God and know that He is answering your prayers and that He is with you always, and He wants to make your path straight. So today I just invite you to reflect in what ways is God asking you to grow and deeper trust in His plan for your life. Comment below and start a conversation. Mm -hmm.